family and friends came together to celebrate the remarkable life of local resident and Holocaust survivor Eva Kaur today in Terre Haute. Taylor Johnson attended the visitation and spoke with those closest to the beloved activist. She joins us with how they plan to remember Eva. Taylor. Well, Nicole, on July 4th, the world was shocked to hear the passing of beloved activist Eva Kaur. But for those who knew her best, the pain is so very close to home. At the end of the day, it's, it's not some type of icon. It's not somebody that uh, people look up to. It's my mom. Close friends and loved ones gathered at Devon Funeral Home to prepare their final goodbyes to Eva Kaur. She helped me be a better person. And it's easy to get caught up in yourself and, and your day-to-day -day life. And she helped me look at life from a different perspective. Her son Alex says it's personal. You know, whether you're 8 years old, 18 years old, or 58 years old, um, you know, it's nice to have a mother to talk to and kiss and hug. And that's the part that's really tough for me to kind of put my, wrap my arms around is to that I can't wrap my arms around my mom. Family and friends say Eva had unfinished business. They will continue. We have to remain, remember her, what she stood for, and continue that legacy. So I think for people that want to learn what happened and maybe some of the lessons that my mom has, um, you know, been teaching the world, I can at least um, make sure that people are aware of those lessons and maybe motivate people to get more involved than they currently are. Most of all, they say there's so much that will keep Eva's memory alive. She's so much more than just a survivor that forgave. I think she was someone that um, had a great sense of humor. She was a great mother to my sister and I. She was a great motivator. She wasn't without fault like all humans. You know, she wasn't perfect. And um, I think she had a real passion to educate the public about her, her experiences and more importantly, how those experiences could be turned into lessons and, 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 and challenges for people to move forward in this day and age. Dancing a dance of joy for what happened there. <laughs> she was able to overcome that. Alex Kaur tells me he plans to work closely with Candles Museum, and soon there will be a movie by WFY called Eva-A7063 that will tell her impactful story. He also thanks the Wabash Valley and those beyond for their outpouring of support during this time. Nicole? Well, thank you for that touching story, Taylor, and it was great to see our friend Bob Bruce get to speak about his friend Eva. We have an entire page on our website dedicated to Eva Kaur and stories of her that we have covered over the years. To see those stories, go to mywabashvalley.com.